Hey you guys, so first what I'm going to do is take my Aveeno Baby Wash. This has oat extract and lavender in this. I love washing my face with this. You can also wash your downstairs area with this. I do that a lot too, but this stuff is great because it's not over drying and it makes my skin baby smooth. Now what I'm going to do is take the Yardley Bar Soap. This is the Shea Buttermilk one. I love this stuff. It gets me squeaky clean but not over drying, which is super important to me to keep that balance in my skin. I love the smell of this. It smells very similar to the Johnson & Johnson's Shea Butter Lotion. So pairing those two smell amazing and it goes with a lot of different body washes. Anything warm, I love. So yes. Don't forget to get behind your ears. It is so important. More people need to talk about this. Now I take the Caress Body Wash. This is the Patchouli one. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's a dream. That is all I have to say. Go pick it up right now. Right now. Now I'm taking the Honey Pot. I just started using this and I really, really like it so far. I actually had all my baby washcloths in the wash right now, which totally stinks. So I had to use my hands, but let me tell you guys, I've been loving this so far and the cap is a little bit difficult to like pump things out of, but just it's worth it. So far it is worth it. All right, you guys, so I just got out the shower. Right now, I'm going to do my body care and skincare while answering some of your questions that you left for me a few weeks ago on my community page. These are some personal and juicy questions, so we're going to get right into it. First off, what I'm going to do is for my skin, I'm going to apply the Johnson Skin Nourish Vanilla Oat Lotion. This is just a typical, simple baby lotion. I love using baby lotion on my skin during the daytime just because it's nice and it's light and it sinks into my skin. So I can apply makeup right on top of it, so it's great. While I answer the first question, I'm going to be applying the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Press Rosehip Oil. So I'm just going to use some of this underneath my eyes. The first question is, what inspired me to start a YouTube channel centered around body care and what is my main goal for this channel? So it's so funny, you guys. I actually have videos of me reviewing body care products on my old little Canon camera when I was like 7 years old, so that's like what, 13 years ago now? And that's insane. If you guys are interested, I'll definitely insert them, like a few clips of videos I've made in some of my videos because it is hysterical. Like, it's crazy how I was like literally reviewing a body wash when no one could give a single crap about any of this stuff. So it's so cool, like if you told me that this would one day like be something I could do. I would be like no way that other people understand my love for body care. So I think I've always kind of wanted to do something along the lines of like beauty and body care. My goal for this channel is to just keep doing what I love and keep building on this amazing community that we have going. So yes. For my lips, I'm going to use the Vaseline Cocoa Butter Healing Jelly. This stuff is just the most superior thing in the entire world. I'm telling you. You want to be moisturized, get this stuff. And the next question is, how do I stay motivated? I like to just make a schedule for myself, especially with filming, because when you're doing work for yourself, like, it is so easy to be like, oh yeah, I'm just going to scroll on TikTok for like another hour, and then it's like 10 hours later, and you're like, oh well, my god, I got nothing done, so I've really found that just taking that time to create a schedule for your videos, or for your work, or whatever it may be, is fire. Now what I'm going to do is take the Native Deodorant. This is the Grapefruit and Bergamot one. And guys, I wore this the past two days in a row and I love it so far. Of course, New Jersey isn't really hot out yet, so I can't get my full-blown opinion and it's only been two days. But so far, for an aluminum-free deodorant, I am shook. This next one is where do I see myself in five years from now? I mean, life changes so much and, you know, God has sometimes many curveballs thrown along the way, so I'm not exactly sure, but I really hope to have my own business, preferably a body care business. I really pray that in five years that is up and running and I just pray, you know, that I can have my own place and, yeah, be living my best life out here, you know? Now what I'm going to do is take the Vaseline Cocoa Shimmer Jelly Stick healing jelly. Love this stuff. It is shimmery and I just love it. I've mentioned it on my channel for a while now. I'm just going to put it on my clavicles. Why not? Look at that. That is just a little bit too crazy good. Like so good. 
Have you ever been through a heartbreak? I've never gone, I would say, through a heartbreak. I've had like two year relationships, breakup and stuff, but I never really loved someone like I love Zach. You know, Zach in my head has like redefined the definition of love. So looking back now, I don't think I actually did have heartbreaks, if you know what I'm saying. For my body lotion, I'm gonna use the Dark Kiss Ultra Shea Cream from Bath and Body Works. This stuff is a dream, so good. Okay. Where is one or few places you would want to travel outside the U.S.? And where is one or few places you want to travel in the U.S.? I would love to go to California and bring Cameron and Catherine along the way and go visit Sam and Michaela because we're always like, ugh, so lucky that they live in California. I cannot even. And for outside the U.S., I would love to go to Italy and Greece. Like, love. If you ever were to make your own signature fragrance, what scents would you put in it? Definitely something along the lines of anything aquatic. I love lavender, I love bergamot, I love um, anything aquatic. I would love to do maybe a fresh floral, something along those lines I would love to do. If you got to choose only one fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works, what would it be? Probably, as of right now, Raspberry Jam Donut. I do have to say it, like, probably as of right now in my collection, Raspberry Jam Donut. This next question, we're getting a little bit deeper. How do you deal with negativity? How do you stay so calm and positive after knowing about your dad's health? So how I deal with negativity-wise is just any type of negative thoughts that come in my head. I just like to acknowledge, like, that is not of God. Like, that is just, these thoughts are in here just to discourage me right now. And for my father's health, I mean, of course, I think anyone who has a terminally ill parent, like, you know what's coming. Like, you know the fate of, like, what's going down, you know? But I think it's keeping God as my number one and saying I put everything in his hands. If I'm being honest and real, not all the time is all calm and positive, you know? Like, there's a lot of just real-life struggles that, you know, are involved with that and a lot of heartache involved. But the reason why I do like to overall just keep a positive and healthy mindset with it is because God is greater than anything and for some reason this is in God's plan and I'm along for the ride and I'm here to take all the life lessons he has for me I just keep trying to acknowledge like this is my dad's time this is the end of his life and like that's okay God needs him for a greater purpose so keeping that mindset is like the most important thing that I just keep going back to now I'm going to go in with the Dark Kiss Body Spray. I don't like to put it all over just because it does have alcohol in here and it's really drying for your skin. So it can kind of like counteract putting on a bunch of lotion. But I do like to still apply it, but I'll apply it here and here and the sides of my neck. I don't want to dry this area all out. And I, of course, put a lot of it, a lot of it on my clothes. So it does last a really long time for me. Important tips for a healthy relationship. I would definitely say always just keep love at the center of everything. Keep the mindset that if I'm going to be with you tomorrow, then why are we going to continue this fight that's going to last a week? You know, like if I know at the end of the day we both want to be with each other, why are we just going to keep prolonging things instead of get, getting to a resolution? Plus, there are certain things, though, certain boundaries that need to be made because if there's no boundaries and you're kind of in this, like, loop-de-loop -loop of, you know, whatever you say goes and then it just causes problems. So keep boundaries, have respect and kindness and loyalty towards that person for sure. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. God bless every single one of you. You all are seriously my blessings. I don't know what I would do without you. Have an amazing day, blessed day, and I will see you guys in my next one.